Hinduism caste is the is ordinal ordinal system. The lead is lower than Brahmins. Um, it is dehumanizing system as such. Just that this was not bad enough. They attached it to birth divine and made problem only hard. Exactly. Yeah. So you can. So so Shiv is saying that okay, the West is the upper caste in this picture. No, that's as that that's very different and i'll give you an example china is not a part of the west and chinese are making more money and they're rising through the ranks and now what are you going to say what chinese have gone the from delete to brahmin now but you can't do that in your one lifetime if you're a delete you'll die a delete that's it end of story so so the, this is false equivalence <laughs> Mm. And and like yeah. you said, that, that second point is really good because it's this cycle of entrapment, right? When you start attaching it to things that are factors that are beyond a person's control. So you say that if you end up as a Dalit or as an untouchable in this world, well, it's because you royally messed up in your past life. I mean, how are you going to say that to somebody when these are things we have no control over? But attaching this to, yes, this happened in your past life. This is your karma playing out. And uh, your birth is this. And, you know, again, the ordinal system of nobility or, or divine right. It's it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. You can't escape it. There's no escaping that cycle. Yeah. For those Westerners who want to be Hindu, I welcome them to be the least untouchable caste. No one... Yeah, tell true. you change your taste until you do it yourself. Exactly. I don't, I don't think there are many Westerners. I think the, the only Westerners who get attracted to it are those sadhu guys. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. And that's fun for a, week, for a weekend. Yeah, not for 40 years and holding your hand up for absolutely no yeah. good reason. You look at that and oh. think, what's, what's that all about? But, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go on, go on. Um, no, 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 go on. No, so uh, uh, if you guys have watched Idiot Abroad, um, there's various, like that That man's got just his hand up, but there's people that choose, like choose whatever limb or body part you want. Um, some of them are like rolling their um, their actual like penises around a rod and displaying that. Some have their leg in a weird way. Like it's this is whole, there's a whole um, area dedicated to these various religious sacrifices they've made for life one of them doesn't eat one of them you know ap has been going at these hindu radicals as well lately because thank you for your contribution old man you made the world a better place by keeping your arm up like that for 45 years look at him his left his yeah. right arm has shrunk and his nails have grown so 45 years he's been standing like that or, or he's been he's been holding his arm up like that yeah so okay. when I when I think about people like Elon, whatever he is, and then I see like, okay, he's actually leaving something <laughs> behind, you know? What has this man done for humanity? Yeah, well, that's, what, the... that's what Ridwan is saying. He's saying you people are so sensitive. Don't lose your minds when someone makes a joke or says anything, something that you find slightly offensive. You're all amused when Muslims are outraged. Exactly. Dude, it's an act of determination and devotion. Okay, they take Paris. oath. To the divine, I'm not imitating, I'm just okay. I'm just imitating the attitude. It's like celibacy till they don't find the divine, they won't rest their hand, blah blah blah. So he goes, So did it did, did, did it do anything good for to anyone, including himself? No. But these guys are just I think even Shiv would probably be offended by that because we're like, no, you gotta, you gotta this is this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> no, no why has, you, why is it good? Also, I, I Statue of Liberty yeah. has got it. This is Statue of Liberty. <laughs> This is a statue of Hindu Baba. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like dedication, though. I, I get tired, like holding my phone on a FaceTime. This guy's been there for 40 years. 45 plus. 45 years. Um, but Horace, also, I think you guys um, make a really good point when I've seen like yourself, Ghalib, uh, probably whoever else is, is talk, like having to deal with a lot of the Hindu crowd, is that you ask a simple question. Like if you want, like imagine you did Karwapsi, so you're going back to Hinduism. Um, to follow the path of your ancestors, as they claim. When you ask them, what are when you ask them? Oh, I need to, okay. when, when you ask them, what caste would I be? That mm. is a, a, a bloody great question because yeah. what do you do yeah. to initiate a new person and how? What do we go off? Do we do we look in? Do we have past life regression and see what we were in our past life to see what we're going to be in this one? How does it work for somebody that's not part of this ordinal system? So I love that you guys, uh, I, I checked the answer, the, the responses to your question. And I was Did like, you read it? Giving... I, I, I read your question, but I didn't get a good response back. Did Here you? it is. 
No, I, I, I don't, I don't read comments. He said, okay. I, I, look at this. One K comments. I know most of them would be abusive oh. or discriminatory or ins insulting. I said, okay. I asked a question. I put a poll on my Udi channel. I said, if I, if I become, if I became a Hindu. Oh no, you're talking about on Twitter. I think I asked that on Twitter as well. Oh right, right. No, I don't read those. I, I saw it on here actually, but I'm, I'm going to check these comments after the stream and see if there's any like actual answer for what would you be people. <laughs> People naturally leave systems, organizations that don't work. Exactly. But if you add divinity, God to it, become you add an extra layer of firewall. You can keep, you, you can keep people struggling with these systems with no end in time. This is what caste is. Exactly. Yeah. Muslim women. Well. Muslim women as well, Nuria. You could probably come and elaborate a bit more. Um, even if they're doubting, but they're hijabis. How hard it is. And it's not only just the fact that they have to leave the religion, but also the the other discriminatory elements that come with it, and even in her own mind as well, she's going to be like, "Oh, hang on, I've only I've only ever known going out wearing this cloth over my head." Yeah, I, it is a really weird feeling as well. By the way, like even just having to wear the abaya um, throughout my entire like teenage years, um, not be, not being like having the freedom to not wear the abaya. Like when I came back to England and I just leave the house and I'd be like, "Oh, abaya, oh." Don't need it. Um, that was such a weird like lifestyle change to get used to it. Can you imagine if I still would every time I think that and I was trying to assert my like freedom and I would think, oh, God's angry if I leave that hijab behind or if I keep it off like that is I mean, again, that's why religion in general, Islam specifically. But if you add divinity to anything, you enshrine this thing of timelessness and divinity you you can never evolve and that is the problem that's why i stay stay clear of reforming um islam as like a you know f like a really feasible thing for humanity i feel like it's it, it's you've got to cut it at the source because islam does that the it, it ingrains guilt and fear into you because god is there watching and waiting to see as like the woman described yesterday on on in my stream if if we're plucking out eyebrows or not that's how close God is. That's how much of an eye he's keeping on us. It's whether we're going tsh, tsh with perfume and whether we're threading our eyebrows. So the guilt runs very, very deep and it just adds to the Stockholm syndrome that, you know, a lot of Muslim women are, are naturally facing. There, there was a comment. It said there's no similarity between caste, Hindu caste system and uh, a Muslim hijab. You, you, I don't know, are people too simple or they can't actually <laughs> go above a certain layer? We are drawing parallels, you know, parallels mean <laughs> there is a similarity, not exactly the same thing. And we just explained that to you, that how certain things that are ingrained in your mind, in your psyche, that this is who you are. And then there's, and as, as I said, if you add divinity to it, you add divinity, that Brahmin is up there and Dalit is down there. So even the Dalit sometimes settles for less and he, he accepts it. And he can't break the circle cycle of it unless he throws the whole divinity out of the bus um, under the, under the bus just like that a muslim woman even if it goes against her wishes and against her whole being there's a divine element to it the divinity of allah is there that says that hey if you want you're you're a woman and i want you to put this cloth over your head do you get it now mr miller yeah, we're literally discussing the concept of attaching yeah. divinity to any systems. But Mr. Miller, please, we've got to raise the caliber of this channel. You can't yeah, be saying stuff can't, like we that. Can't have stupid like that. Yeah, please, we we've got to up the bar. Like, To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.